2024 Chicago Bears official schedule has been leaked. Yeah, that's right. Leaked. I have the schedule here that I'm going to show to you guys. So what is going on, y'all? Fast Sports all back at it with another video talking, of course, NFL. Here to talk about the Chicago Bears. So like I mentioned, I have the schedule here, the leaked version, if you will. Now, the official version will drop later today. Uh, but who wants to wait for that, right? I'm pretty sure this is fairly accurate for the most part. Maybe it's missing a primetime game or two or when it's going to be, but the schedule should be pretty accurate. This has been compiled uh, kind of from all of the leaks that have been out there. So here we go. The 2024 Chicago Bears schedule right here in front of you. And by the way, I want to give credit to Aaron Lemming, who will put this together. So here we go. I'm going to break it down for you guys, man. So we start week one, the Caleb Williams era starts at home in Chicago against the Tennessee Titans, all right? So you would have thought it would have been a divisional opponent. Usually, you know, we start with the Packers or another divisional team, but no, we're starting with the Titans. So we're getting the AFC South schedule started right off the bat. And this is a pretty soft matchup in terms of the defense here. The Titans defense isn't very good now. They have some great offensive weapons they picked up in free agency in Calvin Ridley and Tyler Boyd. They have DeAndre Hopkins, of course, and, you know, we don't know how good Will Levis can be, but he showed flashes last year, so this is definitely not going to be a, you know, easy game to say the least, but it's not a world beater here in the Titans, so winnable game for the Bears, and I like the fact that, hey, it's not a divisional opponent we start with right away. I did not want to start with the Packers, man. I just didn't. Um, I'm so tired of that. So we start with the Titans right away. Okay. No complaints, by the way. Kevin Byer, revenge game, just saying. Week two, first primetime game for the Bears against the Houston Texans on Sunday night football. So, yes, the NFL, they are no dummies. They saw Caleb, the number one overall pick, against C.J. Stroud, last year's Rookie of the Year. And they are pairing them on Sunday night football. Now, this is going to be one heck of a matchup. The Texans are a very good team. Uh, they have the... Probably the only team that has the amount of weapons offensively that the Bears do. Just on paper, right? We're talking about Nico Collins, Stephon Diggs, Tank Dell, uh, Dalton Schultz. Like, they have weapons for C.J. Stroud. So it's going to be a no uh, a no slouch for the Bears defense to be able to go ahead and, and you know, try to take and, and contain those weapons for the Texans. So this is going to be a tough one. And it's on the road in Houston. But, hey, don't game. I think we'll take it. So that's going to be a really fun matchup. The NFL nailed this, and I did predict that. I think the NFL would have put, you know, a Texans-Bears matchup on primetime just because of C.J. Stroud versus Caleb Williams. So love the fact that that is happening. All right, week three, the Indianapolis Colts at home. Folks, the AFC South schedule is coming right away. So, again, boom, 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 three straight AFC South teams. Again, the Colts kind of like the Titans. We don't really know. Anthony Richardson had some flashes before he went down. Colts are a decent team. They don't scare me, but they're not a terrible team. All right, so that is the first three weeks of the season. Then we are back home uh, against the LA Rams. Now the Rams, again, not a world beater here, uh, but when you have a Sean McVay coach team, you're always going to take them seriously. So this is going to be a fairly tough matchup here for the Bears, regardless of of the fact that the Rams have lost some firepower with no Aaron Donald there, Matthew Stafford getting a year older, Cooper Cup, you know, coming off an injury, right? Like, it's not the same Rams team that won the Super Bowl a few years ago. All right, and then week five, you got the Carolina Panthers at home uh, against the Panthers. This should be a dub. Obviously, the Panthers not a very good team. And, you know, I expect the Bears to win this game. And so, you take a look at the first five weeks of the season, folks, I count one really tough team in the Texans. Otherwise, they're all fairly winnable games. Not saying any of them are easy, besides maybe the Panthers, but they're all winnable games. No one scares you besides the Texans. All right, then week six, we head out to the Great Britain, uh, land of Great Britain, I should say. We go to London to take on the Jaguars, and this is counting, unfortunately, as a home game for the Bears so the Jaguars always play in London because their owner owns teams out there and he always volunteers to have the Jaguars play in London. So we are playing in London. It sucks that it's a home game, but it is what it is. And you got Trevor Lawrence versus Caleb Williams. So you love to see that. 
and number one pick versus number one pick. So that should be a fun matchup here. And then the Bears have a bye week after that, which makes total sense because, hey, right after a long road trip abroad, right, you want to go ahead and take some time off, and that's what the Bears are doing. So early bye week for the Bears, and I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Usually I would have liked the later bye week, but the fact that it's after a London game, I'm all good with that. All right, week eight and week nine, you go on the road against the Commanders and the 49ers. Now the Commanders, uh, that one's going to be a fun matchup because it's Jaden Daniels, number two overall pick versus Caleb, but they don't really scare you. And then week nine, this is going to be the toughest matchup uh, on your on your calendar, on your schedule with the 49ers, obviously a team that went to the Super Bowl last year and you're playing them in San Fran. Yeah, that's probably going to be an L. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see, but that's going to be a very tough matchup there. And then now, here we go, Week weeks 10, 11, and 12. This is very interesting how the Bears' schedule is and how the NFL did this or why they did this. But you have three straight home games. And you've got the Patriots, you've got the Packers and Vikings. And I was mentioning, you don't play a divisional opponent until Week 11 against the Packers. Folks, that's insane. I've never seen this before. The Bears do not play a divisional opponent until week 11. All right, so you got the Patriots, you got the Packers, and you got the Vikings at home. And then, check this out, you got three straight on the road against Detroit, against Arizona, against Minnesota. All right, two of those primetime games, the Lions on Thanksgiving Day and the Vikings on Monday Night Football. Now, I'll be honest, not a fan of this three home, three road uh, split here. And that one, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I just wish it wasn't that extreme. But I guess, you know, it is what it is at this point. The one thing I am a fan of, though, is having divisional opponents later in the schedule. And here's why. Like I was mentioning, we play the Packers. We play the uh, divisional opponents earlier in the year. We start with them every single season almost. And that is when Caleb and this offense and this team is going to go through some growing pains. They're going to go through some learning experiences. They're going to get their chemistry right. They're going to make mistakes. That's when that's going to happen, right? And you don't want those mistakes happening against crucial divisional games, in crucial divisional games. You want them happening against non-divisional opponents. Now, you don't want them happening, period, but you get my point. Well, by week 11, we should be set to go. Like We should be hitting our full stride should be a well-oiled machine by then, uh, running on all cylinders. And at that point, you are well prepared for these divisional games and you don't have to you know, worry about those growing pains early on. So I love that because divisional games are going to mean so much. Obviously, you win the division you're in. The playoffs, we all know that. So that part I do like that we start them later. But three games at home, three on the road. Not a, the biggest fan of that. And then finally, you close out the schedule at home against Detroit. And then at home against the Seahawks. That's a primetime game Thursday Night Football. And then finish out the season on the road against the Green Bay Packers. So, overall, folks, I like the earlier part of our schedule. I like the fact that we play divisional opponents late. But there's just, uh, you know, so many of these, you know, home, 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 away, away, away games. I don't like the fact that we have a London game, but it is what it is. The bye week a little early. So overall, the Bears should get off to a decent start. And if they're hitting their stride later on in the year, that's when the tougher games start with the divisional opponents. Uh, it would just divisional games being tougher. You get what I'm saying, right? Obviously, Lions Packers are a tough team. We'll see what, the, what happens with the Vikings. But yeah, it doesn't change much in terms of what I predicted for this team in terms of their win total. I, I see this as a 9-10 win team potentially 11 if everything breaks right so let's see what happens but let me know what you guys think about this schedule for the chicago bears leave a comment down below a very unique schedule here not a typical bear schedule let me know what you guys think as always